Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play TMNT3. Now you might be wondering why I'm on this screen with 7 lives and 0 points. Well, that's because I tried to do continue on where I was left off, and I think I had like 2 lives left, or maybe 3, I'm not sure right now. But, I definitely got my ass kicked on this level, and by the time I finally got to uh, Shredder at the end, I got my ass kicked, I only had, I didn't have any lives left, so, we're gonna try this again, and so, since I had a good all, nice little intro and story on my last commentary, I'm gonna go, I guess I gotta go ahead and, uh, talk about, well, talk about what I was talking about on the other video, I was basically describing, um, well, uh, how my, uh, action figure collection was when I was a kid, when I came to the Turtles collection, which I mentioned before in the last video, the collection I started when I began potty training, and it, I was describing, or I was telling the story of how me and my cousin uh, took apart all my turtles, like literally disassembled them and put them all together like crazy chimeras, like you know, like a Frankenstein monster chimera type of thing where we just take different pieces from different characters and put them together and make them into weird creatures and yeah so I just yeah I'm just uh I'm sorry I could I I don't want to retell the story exactly how I told it it's hard to remember how I told it the first time um but yeah Somehow we ended up using my collection and not his, and it was kind of bullshit, because now I don't have any of my collection anymore that I had growing up. Uh, other than that, I was I was referring, I also talked about um, my other, I actually had another collection of action figures, of the, you know, the same Turtles action figures my, at my grandma's house, separate collection. And I had those for much, much longer. It was actually much more a uh, maintained set. I had all the pieces to every character still. The pieces, I mean, the characters, you know, there wasn't any wear and tear on them really. But, uh, yeah, those, uh, that collection sadly ended up in a garage sale. Because, uh, I think she, uh, asked me if I, what, I, what, we, what she should do with them. I think I was in high school at the time, and, you know, at that time I didn't give a shit about action figures anymore. It doesn't. It didn't really, you know, ring nostalgia when I'm only in the teen years. Then I just wanted to be cool like everybody else, right? Anyways, so that ended up in a garage sale, and just some random people bought it, I guess, and therefore I lost my entire collection of turtles, and I have nothing, no remains, no remnants, and fuck, I knew there was pizza coming up, and I just died anyways. God damn it, I couldn't. Couldn't have made that any worse. These guys will not die. Die, you fucks. Die, you fucks. I don't care if he hits me. Because there's a pizza right there. Die. Okay. Whew. Make me worried. Okay, so. Yeah, since my action figure collection story got a little jacked up since I had to retell it, I'm, I apologize. I mostly just apologize because I freaking suck for dying and... I guess I could have showed you the video where I died and kept the commentary, but then you would have had to watch me play this whole level over again, and I wasn't even doing that good, and most of my commentary wasn't really that good. It was just me trying to tell the story, but fumbling over my words. So now we'll just talk about the level. Um, as you can tell, as I've been going through this, there's been a lot of new enemies that we have not come across before. Namely, a bunch of different robots. Started with those little, or those like golden robots, and then we ran into those little crawling robots that shot little like wave beams. And now we got these little flying helicopters, which are not too bad. They just they're hard to hit sometimes. They're easy to dodge, hard to hit. Uh, not so bad though. More of these pink rangers with their spears, at least they're not throwing them at me, they're just trying to stab me with them. And our first encounter was some blue rock soldiers, we haven't ran into any of them before. Yeah, the rock soldiers, we haven't, I, I was talking about those 
those Arnold Schwarzenegger guys before, but they're just rock soldiers. I kind of half-assed named some of these characters. But yeah, they're rock soldiers, part of Krang's army from Dimension X. I don't remember the names of the generals and all that shit right now, but yeah. Oh, and I also mentioned in my last video how, um, like, this part surprised me when I was a kid, like, oh, they're, they're really robots. You know, they're, they're built, they were built, you know, they put them together right here, you can see there's the skeleton of it, of one. Those foot soldiers are really robots, and then, like, I thought about it, like, oh, the show, <laughs> of course they're robots, in the show they explode every time they die. But I mean, I kept thinking, like, the movie, in the movie, you know, the, it's realistic, every foot clan member is just a, a human being dressed in a, in a ninja outfit. I know it's different completely, because they're, like, green, dark green with... Like a red headband, nothing like the ones you see in the game and the show. Purple fucking foot clan guys. God, I hate these robots. Um, so enough about that. Oh, let's just get on to this stupid conveyor belt or whatever the hell this is. Moving sidewalk. These are pretty easy to dodge. You just gotta once the enemies start coming out, it's gonna be a little bit more annoying. You have to try and kill them and not get hit at the same time. And then you gotta also deal with Nintendo lag. Oh my god. And by that I mean too much shit going on on the screen. I can't do anything full speed. Ugh. Sometimes it gets really irritating. We are almost there. And once we get past the conveyor belt, we're in the home stretch of the Technodrome. And we definitely have more lives because, like I said at the beginning, we use the Konami code. So I can start with seven lives after I continue. It's it's gonna help us because I, I mostly use it for the this kind of level. Like I said, when you have to start over, I just did, I just wanted to spare you me having to like lose at the game. You know, I don't I don't want that, and I haven't used any save states yet. So if I I don't want to be forced to use a save state to make sure I finish this game. I want to do it all in one playthrough, even with a little bit of a cheating that I did. So hopefully I'm able to do so. Hopefully I can pull this off. I'm really... I'm, I'm getting kind of worried based on how crappy I'm doing. Come on, come get some, bitch. Oh my god. Stop doing that move. Oh my god, I had... I was just waiting for him to stop it. Oh, I'm still when he's wrapped. Don't switch. Damn it. This is probably one of my least favorite fucking battles. I, I keep doing that when I get to one of these guys. I keep forgetting to intro him. This is Razar. From, uh, who made his debut in... TMNT 2, the movie. And prior to that, he, he never ever... No one knew who the fuck he was. He was just as much a surprise... To have in TMNT 2 as it was to not have Bebop and Rocksteady. Like, when they went to go make mutants, you're like expecting them to make Bebop and Rocksteady. That's what you're expecting. And, lo and behold, what do they do? They make a fucking... Completely two new... Mutants. That you've never heard before. And, weirdly enough, near the end of the the cartoon series, this is, you know, the last couple seasons of the series, these two mutants, well, two, this is just Razor, but the other one's Toka, that I'm referring to, actually showed up in the later seasons of the show. And, yeah, oh my god, I'm wasting lives, like, fucking, just throwing them out there like nothing right now, but, oh my god, we just need to finish this guy off. This is getting ridiculous. Die, you big fucking dog wolf thing. God. Seriously. I need to save as much time as I can to be Shredder real quick here. As long as we can be Shredder, we'll be happy. Ugh. And this is what first play th first time playthrough you presume to be the final battle. The final throwdown with Senor Shredder. But we'll soon see that that may not be the case. I'm gonna go ahead and just try and do as much damage as I can. Waste of life, because I'm gonna die. I'm, I was gonna die at least once anyway, so... Why not just go all out on his ass? And we're doing pretty good. Oh, And... We're getting closer and closer to beating this motherfucker. Let's try to fight him without using another life. I wanna try and at least get to the last level before using another continue. I wanna try. Get to the last level. Come on. Ah. I'm giving a lot of spoilers away by... You know, I was complaining about what I want to get done, but it's 
not really the point. The point is I need to... I'm just trying to... Beat this fucker and it's pissing me off. Come on, die, 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 die. Don't worry, April. You banana Rinko or bitch. You shall be saved soon enough. Yes! Okay. We got him without losing another life. Da -da 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 -da. Sweet. Make out time. Okay, fine. I'm a turtle. You're human. And what happens after you? Save April? Look. Isn't that Kring's spaceship? Holy shit, we didn't beat the game? Wait, Shredder's alive? Wait, get back here! I'm not finished with you! Yeah! Yeah, I had to throw in a Raphael quote there. Seems how I've been using Raphael this whole time. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video here. I could start the next level. Most likely I won't be able to finish it. We're already at the 10-11 minute mark, yeah. So, stop here. Continue on. See you guys next time. Peace.